Hey guys, it's Ransom here, and welcome back for more Earthbound slash Mother 2. In the last episode, we journeyed into the Lost Underworld, found Pooh's last and final piece of equipment, and uh, trekked through the final Sanctuary Dungeon, and here we are at the last Sanctuary Boss. Take it from me. If you dare! So, uh, Carbon Dog. Uh, has two, this boss has two forms, and he's both of them are super annoying. Um, so we are going to uh, shield. Now we're not going to shield. It doesn't matter. Um, we're going to shield with her. But uh, as always, we're going to multi bottle rocket. And we're just gonna defend. 1400 damage. And this is why you need the fire protection. Uh, we're gonna do freeze gamma and hopefully take him out. Come on. All of a sudden Carbon Dog gave off a rainbow of colors. So now he is he is now the uh, Diamond Dog. And he can diamondize us and do all kinds of other yucky status ailments. But what we want to do is um, get rid of his... Actually, what I think I can do is put that on Jeff. Who knows? Let's just uh, try and get rid of his shield. You know what? I'm just going to go for broke. I'm going to have uh, Pooh heal Jeff. Oh, you're supposed to do that after, but okay. Oh, wonderful. And it wasted my multi-bottle rocket. Great. Good thing I got a million cup of life noodles. I'm just gonna do healing gamma because I'm not sure which... Uh... Oh, that was ridiculous. I'm just gonna try this again. Yep, I already knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Are you serious right now? Are you kidding me? Horn of life. Uh, 
Yes, was revived. I told you guys this boss is ridiculous. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Five minutes for a boss battle. That's the longest boss in this freaking game so far. 84,000 experience. Ooh, that was a good level. Fire Omega, very nice. How uh, ironic that we get that in the fire dungeon. Those are some good levels. And now we are going to go into the final, uh, your sanctuary location. Whoops! The fire spring. Ness had the feeling he was being watched by himself as a baby. That's the soundstone recorded the melody of the fire spring. And it automatically goes into our soundstone so we can listen to the full song. Do 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 I actually like the melody from Mother 1 a lot better than this one, the eight melodies from this game, but it's fine. Did you see our little puppy there? That's King when he was a little puppiers. He's just a baby. Those are baby puppers. Whose room is this? This is our room. Ness. Hmm. I think Ness is the right name for him. Yes, he smiled just from hearing his own name. Do you think he likes his name? Try putting that red cap on him. Ha ha ha. It's too big, but it looks good on him. I hope King won't be jealous of the baby. Let's celebrate with some cake. This baby will grow up to be a hard worker, just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous, but I want him to be a thoughtful, strong boy. I am so strong. That's odd, the baby bottle he pointed to seemed to move a little bit. So Ness had psychic powers even as a baby. Hmm. And we are somewhere. Yes, you stood on the eight power spots of the earth. From these, you created Magicant, the realm of your mind. In Magicant, there's beauty, kindness, sorrow, and hatred. Of course, there's an evil and violent side of you. The Sea of Eden sits at the center of those feelings. It takes the tr you to the truth about yourself. I love the air, the, this area because I love Magicant because every time you talk to someone, it changes the uh, it changes the color scheme. Oh, I like this one. 
town. There's a little ducky. Ness used to be small and weak. This is a rest spot. And I believe you can uh, transfer items here. I want you to take both of these food items real quick. Because I'm going to go to the store and uh, see what we can see here. Puddings and pendants. So, what does the earth pendant do? Fire, freeze, and flash attacks. I'm gonna buy two more of these just in case. I actually like the rabbit's foot on Ness because it gives him more chances to attack, so I'm going to uh, put these away. And I'm gonna grab my food now. Oh my god, let me grab my food. Okay. Okay. So, we are. What's in this building? This is a hotel. We don't need this. Look at the sun. Face the sun and smile. Did you learn how to tell time? I mean, King? Okay. There's a zombie. You kicked my butt badly. I won't forget. I don't like this color scheme. Master Belch. Destroyed my pride. Arg. It's me. I'm you when you were younger. Hey, let's play ball. Do you prefer reading comics or playing video games? What? You're busy. It's another hotel. You can talk to these snowmen, too. What's in this present? Eh, I don't need it. Oh, those are all our friends from Wanet. There's Pokey. You're so lucky, I envy you. I have no luck. But Ness, well, okay. Let's be friends forever, alright? Okay. This is the Flying Man house, and we are gonna take one of them uh, with us. Uh, Flying Man will help us fight, and... <sighs> this is Buzz Buzz's tombstone. He appeared earlier in the game and gave up the ghost before he achieved his goal. So, bu there's Buzz Buzz's grave. But we got the Flying Man with us now. And here is the entrance to the Sea of Eden. Get out of the way, me! I need to get through here. Bag of Dragonite. Uh, one, two, three, four. 
I guess, I guess I can, uh, take the bag of Dragonite. Uh, if you talk to this nest, I'll do it, but you can get a baseball cap that you had at the beginning of the game. Hey, me, I found the cap that you lost. I'm so stupid. There's lots of junk in my backpack at a time like this. Why don't you get rid of something I don't use? But I'm not going to, because it's, uh, really, really weak, because it's, like, the very first item you can equip on this, so. Um, there is a bat here that we need to get. It is over there on the left side of the screen. Loaded dice. Flying man did a small amount of damage, I guess. They look like boobies, but they're eyeballs. Franklin badge. Magic camp bat. Magic Ant Bat does better than the Ultimate Bat, so I'm going to uh, throw away the Ultimate Bat. And there was another uh, present down the other way, but again, we're at the end of the game, so I really don't care all that much. What the heck just happened? Okay. That was crazy. Another eyeball. All right. Getting there, getting there. Sudden guts pill. No, oh, thank you. Magic tart. No, thank you. I think I'm gonna run away from this. Uh, they keep trying to do PSI, but they don't concentrate until, like, their third turn or something. So, he was able to concentrate, which means he can use his PSI now, but he's dead, so it doesn't matter. Woohoo! Another shitty level up. So I guess the sprite limiter isn't on in the emulator or something, because, like, a bunch of slowdown keeps happening when, like... A couple more than sprites than they're supposed to be on the screen, like, come in. <laughs> Ow. I'm gonna die. I was already dying. Oh, the flying man's dead. Oh, R.I.P. flying man. But you got us where we needed to be at least. Well, almost.
Fun fact, in the uh, Japanese version, uh, Ness is actually naked uh, here in Magicant. And we have made it to the Sea of Eden, the actual Sea of Eden, inside of Magicant, which is part of Ness's mind. So, there are uh, three Krakens here that we have to fight on our own. So make sure you are uh, good and healed up and ready to fight. They are uh, just like the ones that were on the uh, way to Scaraba from Summers. Kraken was defeated. Another shitty left flip. Life up Gamma, very or er, Omega, very nice. It heals all of our party. Here's another Kraken. Franklin badge deflected lightning, didn't hit anyone. Life of Beta. I don't have any PSI effects on me, but okay. Two Krakens down, one more to go. That's a lot of experience. Here's another Kraken. And what is that over there in the center of the lake? Kraken was defeated. Another level up. Not a bad level up, but not a particularly good one either. So, this is what I was saving uh, all these bags of Dragonite for. And so I'm going to, uh, I've got five of them, I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I've got five. I'm going to use this brain food lunch. Uh, but I am going to uh, end this episode here because we're going to go through a whole bunch of stuff and almost get to the end of the game in the next episode. So um, if you like what you saw and you want to see more after we fight this uh, many, many statue looking guy, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time for more Earthbound slash Mother 2. Hey everybody, Ransom here, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss on what I come up with next. Also, give this video a share as I'm trying to grow the channel and every little bit helps. And I will see you in the next video.